Okay, now we're going to start this uh, presumably uh, from the standpoint of you worked on it, got to a particular point, and then put it away. Uh, so what we're going to do is look at it from the bottom. Then I'm going to I'm holding down the Shift Z to zoom in. We're going to do the pan. Slide over here so we can see both uh, radiuses. Now remember in the last video we uh, took care of this one. Okay. Uh, we're going to get into the edit sketch mode again. There's that coincident relation. Uh, so then what we're going to do now is we're going to click that one. And then we're going to click the uh, convert entities, and that got the little box there, so we're good to go. We should now have what we see in Figure 5.29 on page 157. And now then, at this point in the game, we're going to select the line tool, okay. and this is going to be a little bit tricky, and we may have to uh, zoom in a little bit to get this uh, be able to see this but that right there that orange box is the center of the arc and we do not want to click on that okay but you'll see the little yellow uh, box on the bottom of the by the eraser it shows that, that there's a coincident relation and but if you move this around okay now then you're going to see a box that yellow box with uh, the line and it's very difficult to see but that shows that uh, the line is tangent to uh, the arc and the yellow box with the green dot in the middle and the T shows that uh, it's coincident relation okay you see how things change right there so let's go back click that right there and not sure that that worked the way I wanted it to, but we'll we'll ascertain that in just a minute. Now then, we come back down here, and it's too small, so let's shift C. Let's make it a little bit bigger. We're going to pan over. Okay, we're going to hit Escape, and we do our. So now then, okay, right there is exactly where we want to do. You see the circle with the uh, little line beside it and the coincident relation beside it. We're going to click on that and hit escape. I'm going to hit. Now, okay, now as it turns out, this didn't work out exactly the way we wanted. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to move it, okay, to uh, to be just where I want it to be. Uh oh, sorry about that. Click. So, see, it's going right exactly along. It's following along the arc. I can put it anywhere I want to on that arc. I don't necessarily want it on the center line, but I want it where it's tangent. Okay. So we're going to put it right there, and it's going to be coincident. And then we'll we'll see what we got there. Okay, now what you probably noticed, and you may have had this same problem uh, here, there is no tangent uh, relation here. And since we can't just guess, all right, uh, what we need to do is go through this following procedure. I'm going to click that feature there. I'm going to hold down the control key, and I'm going to click that feature. And so I've got the selected entities here, arc 2 and line 1. I'm going to select arc 2. I'm going to hold down the control feature. Select line 1. Okay. And so I've got both of these highlighted. Now then I can add relations down here. I can add tangent to that. So I'm going to click on tangent. And that makes line 1 tangent with arc 2. Okay. If that did not happen to you automatically, you need to go through the procedure I just did manually to make that tangent. And you'll see here we've got the icon, the little circle with the line. That means it's tangent. 
and these other two icons mean that it's coincident. Let's take a look briefly at the, this one down here and you've got the same thing. You've got the tangent icon and you've got the coincident icon. So we'll click escape to get out of that and we'll take a look at our next uh, next steps. Okay, so now I'm going to hit escape to get everything back to normal. We are going to hit the shift Z and zoom in on one of the arc things there. And what we're going to do now is we're going to trim this portion of the arc. Okay, that's going to be our goal here. Uh, so we've zoomed in. We're going to click on Trim Entities. Okay. Then we're going to do Trim to Closest. This option here. And then we're going to click on the portion of the arc that we want to remove. And that's that one right there. Okay. And Okay, now after we've done that, then we click the check mark, and nothing happens. <laughs> okay, let's regroup here. Actually, it did work. Okay, you see the change in the, we've just got a tangent line here. What we're going to do now, uh oh, I messed up, I always do that. Let's pause, and I'll reset my view, and we'll do the, okay, so now we've got everything all set up here. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. We've zoomed in to the top. There's the arc. There's the line. Okay. So we're going to hit Trim Entities. We're going to gray trim to the closest. Then we're going to select the portion of the arc that we want to. Uh, that one right there. And then we're going to click the green check mark. And you'll notice the the way the relation changed. Here you've got this as coincident, and you've got the tangent, and those other boxes disappeared. So we've added the two lines indicated, and we're going to uh, close the sketch contour. That's what we've done. So I'm going to stop this uh, video here, and we'll pick up the next one. Uh, extruding the boss base to a, actually turn that into a, a flange as indicated on page 169.